Protests continue across the country this weekend, including in Atlanta after Friday's Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe versus Wade. CBS 46's Madeline Montgomery is live this morning at the Georgia State Capitol, where demonstrators have been gathering. And Madeline, there is a deep concern, especially about what this change means for minority women. That's right, Megan, and people have been out all night here at the Capitol. You can see they've been posted up on the steps with their signs. They have snacks, they have water bottles, and protests started on Friday. They went through yesterday and again, still out here today. But yesterday, specifically, advocates were talking to CBS 46, talking about how they need to find solutions for minority women. The Supreme Court's decision will hurt black and brown women the most, according to Linda Goler Blunt. She's the CEO of the Black Women's Health Impairment. She tells CBS 46 poverty rates and maternal mortality rates will increase, especially for black women. Blunt says black maternal mortality rates will increase by 33% if they can't have access to abortion care. 2019 data from the CDC shows black women have the highest rate of abortions at nearly 24 per 1,000 women in Georgia. That number is even higher with nearly 65 abortions per 1,000 black women. Blunt says there are next steps to take and they need to be done so quickly. To make sure they have access to medication abortion, to plan B um, pills, um, and, you know, if we're figuring out ways to buy up these, these products, come up with logistics me mechanisms to distribute them. One says something that's important that needs to be done is letting women know, especially minority women, where they can go and have a safe abortion. And coming up in about 30 minutes, I'll show you how certain county leaders are saying that their county will be safe because they will not be pursuing criminal charges when it comes to someone getting an abortion or someone who gives an abortion. Reporting live in downtown Atlanta, I'm Madeline Montgomery, CBS 46 News. All right, Madeline.